Hey, it's good to see you. It's Ryan here with DP Marketing Services and author on the book on digital marketing for plumbing and HVAC contractors. I guess I can also throw on a podcast host, which still sounds weird to say. Uh, if you haven't checked out bluecollar.ceo, you totally should. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to have out there. So um, good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, coming up to uh, today's video, today's mini rant. If you are trying to show up for the term best or top plumber or best HVAC company or top AC repair near me, whatever, if you're trying to target those particular type of searches, um, and look, you, you totally should because those are great customers. Those are people who understand that you do quality work. They're willing to pay a premium for it, right? They're not looking for cheap and budget and whatever. If you're trying to target these ideas of best or top, uh, you need to do a couple things. One, you need to make sure you have a strategy for reviews. Um, you have to. And Google is specifically what we're talking about here. You need to get Google My Business reviews. But honestly, reviews everywhere. You need them on Yelp. You need them on Facebook. You need them on Nextdoor, whatever. You need reviews everywhere. But the one that's going to matter most is Google. And you need to make sure as much as possible that your customers are telling the story about what you did for them. Okay, because because here's the deal. Google's not trying to lie. They're not going to recommend a company for best or top plumber or best or top electrician um, who has really slow reviews or really crappy reviews or only gets one review every two months. Uh, Google's not going to do that. It's going to try to Google is going to try to find the companies who are the best. And look, here's the deal. That's not just saying you have 100 reviews, you have 1000 reviews, you have 10,000 reviews. That's not really the point. It's two things. Recency and frequency, right? If you get two reviews a year, it doesn't matter. If you had a thousand reviews today and never got another, it doesn't matter. But if you consistently get a steady drip of new reviews, uh, Google tends to pay attention. And that's going to be true for customers too. They tend to, customers tend to think that an old review doesn't matter. It's not relevant. I don't remember the time. It's like six months, three months, something really short. If you see a review that's nine months old, most of the time customers are like, yeah, it's, it doesn't, it's not relevant to what I'm going through today. Um, so you really want to make sure that you have a strategy for getting reviews. You can tie this into whatever, if you're doing house call, if you're doing service Titan, doesn't matter. Uh, but you just have to make sure you're getting the reviews. So first get the reviews, get positive reviews. And second, you need to make sure that you respond to every stinking one of those reviews. So you're going to respond to uh, the positive reviews. You're going to say, thank you, blah, blah, blah. You're going to, you know, lace in natural keywords when you can. And also you're going to respond to negative reviews too. And these honestly are more important. And if you think about your own tendencies and preferences, like when you're going on Amazon, for a lot of people, they don't look at the five star, five star, five star, because they kind of go, eh, they go to the lowest rating, you know, show me the three stars first, show me the two stars first, whatever. And they want to see what is the worst things that people have to say about you. And then more importantly, how did your company respond? Were you defensive? Were you attacking? Did you just mudsling? So the things that you say in your response to those negative reviews is going to reveal a lot about your company's culture, the type of work you do. And it's going to be really influential on people on the outside who are on the fence about calling you to begin with on, is this a company that I want to do business with? If you respond well, you will totally make more business. If you respond poorly, it will cost you business. And uh, yeah, it's really important. Uh, so I'm curious to know from you uh, what your ideas are, right? So do you have any more ideas? How do you personally get more reviews on Google? Um, I'd love you to leave a comment below. Um, but yeah, I think of the two things here. If you're trying to target top or best or anything like those, which you, you again, you should because those are high quality customers. Uh, you're going to have to make sure you have a, a strategy for collecting those reviews to begin with and making sure that you're responding to each and every one. It's not the total number. It's recency and frequency. But yeah, I would like to see what else did I miss? What would you add? Leave a comment below. As always, guys, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. We'll see you next time.